Hello and welcome back to the next episode of Graveyard Keeper. We are picking off, picking up right where we left off. With this pesky body here. Now it's got two white to three red. Now I thought about we could dabble in trying to remove the red and the white. And I think we will, but there's a few things that I did a little bit of research on too, just to see if I could identify what the best process is, at least with the red and the white at the start. Now, removing blood and fat will get rid of two. They'll turn two red ones white and we would have four white, one red. Now, heart, brain and intestine can remove two white, a white and a red, or two red. They don't add. So what we can look at is we can look at removing the fat and the blood and we will get a plus four minus one. That's probably the best way to approach it. Or we can take a wild gamble and we're going to remove the heart and we will see whether that removes red or white. Remove two white. <laughs> Good news is we can now extract the blood and we can extract the fat and we will still wind up with three, three. So that's all we really could have gotten anyways. Um, now, from what I've also read, it's possible to identify like this heart is now a two red heart, so it's useless. But you can find a two white heart, a um, those things, and you can swap them out, right? So we're going to keep doing that. We know that the heart is two fat. If we take the brain... Okay, I don't know anything now. Everything I saw, nothing says that removing a brain can add white. So, boom. Um, that was a bad brain. We can then take that bad brain and we can bury it for another four points. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. We can now have a look here. This is four good, but it's too bad. So we're going to remove this. All oh, right. So we're just going to remove all these pieces. And we already had the exhumation permission. And boom. I don't understand. I don't know. I will have to look that up. If you know, uh, do leave a comment down below because I specifically went looking through the wiki and what I could see was that brains, heart, and intestine only, only do certain things. Right, they, they only remove certain things. They never add. So we're actually going to do this. And voila, we have a, a six skull body, which is both great for the graveyard and good for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump that there. What's this one? This one's only two. This one's not that great. This one's five. So we can actually remove that. We could place that there and get plus one. Or we can just place another one. We're just going to do this for now. And we've got those other pieces in the trunk. So we can just chuck that in. And for the moment, we'll have a plus four. 
we'll be able to make that a plus six later. Or, or we could convert it into zombie things. Now, we've managed to take most of the pieces from this, which is good. We do have a whole bunch of other things to sell. And I want to go check with the beekeeper about the, uh, the little apiary situation. We need 10 bees to build an apiary. And I read that they can be a little bit expensive, but maybe they're worth it. So we're going to have a quick look. Uh, we are going to dump everything we can here. What's over here? This is over here now. Um, this one also has a ton of brains. Brains and hearts and intestines. So we, we actually need to sort something out with that. And work out how we can categorize them. But we are going to head to the dead horse. And we are going to sell our... Six of these. Bang. Nine silver right there. What if we sold all of these? Very little. Not worth um okay that's done is there anything of his that we want at this point in time no but we are going to go visit the gravekeeper no we're the gravekeeper we're going to go visit the beekeeper let me let me just get it right for a moment jeez so where is the bees that looks like dairy, wood, and and stuff. That's the farm. That's the mill. Merchant. I don't know where the beekeeper is. Unless that's the beekeeper. We'll go around and have a look. Who are you? Oh, I can't talk to you. All right. Didn't want to anyway. Oh, you're the beekeeper. Trade. So, 20 silver. Uh, 20 copper. 10 bees would cost us two silver. We're going to actually do that. Because we have the bees. No, we have the silver. We now have the bees. Wow. I, I don't know if I need to go have a coffee or something. I need to wake up. I need to get my words in order. <laughs> we'll grab that honey there as well. What else did we need to build? I think we needed fitch and either iron parts or nails so let's have a look through i don't know if we can just take pieces can we no we can't i really wish this game was multiplayer because i i thrive best when i've got someone else who gets you know who takes care of all of the all of the inventory management stuff Basically, I just need personal assistance when I play games like this. Right, we are going to build one more simple iron parts just to use up this energy. We're going to go sleep. Quite frankly, we are running on empty and I don't feel like spending the carrots. I just don't have the carrots in me. I cannot carrot all. I'll show myself out. <laughs> All right. Very refreshed, waking up bright and early in the morning. Even before the sun has awoken. We are making our way up. Moving faster than those zombies. And let us look at making one. So we can make one. Oh, are they. It's weird that we're given a bigger space than is needed. So we're going to put it there. Right. So we've started. I don't know how long it takes, but with one underway, I figure the process shouldn't be too difficult. I'm just going to clear out the rest of these places. And we're just going to harvest, harvest them when we see them. Because we're likely going to not, oh, wait.
Mm, we got some honey there. Um, so we're likely not going to be able to get it very quickly. Just going to take a quick little wander up because the other thing I read is that they're not necessarily in any set tree. Um, I could be wrong. But the idea here is just to have a quick little wander through. See if we can identify any. Oh, there's another. They may be set trees because the more I look at them, I think they are specific trees. Oh, okay. So we do get sting stung when we harvest. Sometimes, maybe. I'm not quite sure yet. There's another one here. Yeah, so we do get stung, but we did get a bee, so that's that's useful. Now, we do have that silk as well, so we could put another residential tent in. I think we're going to do that as well. While I'm here, while I'm remembering it, and now that we've got this, we can do it so quickly. I just have to remember where I put the silk. That will be difficult. But the good news is we can just search by literally just pressing tab here. I, I am beginning to... There we go. So it's in this trunk, I think. So we've got that trunk. I think we need those sticks. And the teleport stone's not even done yet, and we're ready to go fix it. So that is very good. Now, with that honey, what can we need? We now need milk to make the pastry dough. But once we've made the pastry dough, we've got the honey... We can literally just make all of this. Um, and it seems pretty straightforward as long as we are collecting berries when we see them and we're collecting honey when we can. We can't always be doing it because, of course, it does sting us a little bit. But it should be doable. So let's head to the refugee camp. And build another... Wait, what? Maybe we need to do the water well first. In that case, we require 12 pieces of stone. How very strange that we can build that. But... There's nowhere... Nowhere offering for us. What can we remove? Yeah. Alright. Let's go and take care of the water well first, then. What have we got here? Oh, we can store things here. All right, we'll put the silk there. And we'll put the sticks there, because we need to go back for that. Oh, they need food as well, don't they? I still can't believe it. We're a high society. Why did the king not protect us? I don't know. I am not the king. So we're going to head back home. We're going to get the stone. That should be enough. And I'm also going to grab some more carrot cutlets. Because I need them too. I don't know why I decided to eat those ones. Like, I really didn't need to. But part of me was just like, eat the cutlet. Eat the cutlet arch. I don't think we need any of those parts for this. All the conical flasks. Uh, we do need those parts, actually. Come to think of it. Um, that should be good for us there. We should be able to harvest this now. Which is mainly what I was after. Alright, we got everything harvested. there anything I've got four of wheat seeds and that's it so no but we did harvest another successful lot of wheat so we're up to another 32 there that is really good news and we're gonna now go to the refugee camp and build that water source oh easy task completed 
So we've built a well, and now we just need to get the wood from here, the silk as well, and we can build another tent. Refugee happiness has dropped to zero of four. Okay. That says one. One, one, one. How on? He has nothing to say to me. We can't enter there. Can't enter there. <laughs> No time for regrets. We must look for the future. Ask about camp development. There are certain deep mecha mechanisms and parameters involved. Imagine it's some tricky game. If you understand that way, you're halfway there. The rest is pure logic. Um, about camp quality. When you build something used for our, for our camp, you increase the quality. Food and water. Our refugees can look after themselves, but this isn't not enough to feel any satisfaction. They won't die of starvation, but it won't be enough for camp development. How do I feed them? You can put some food and water regularly in the storehouse. And please watch that the storehouse isn't empty. One refugee, need, refugee needs three water and 30 energy a day. As you can see, they aren't gluttonous at all. Okay, so... Does this now automatically supply- oh no. Whoops. So with this here, I can now easily provide the water. And so if they require 30 energy a day, our cutlets would provide 15. So two cutlets per- Per refugee per day. Now, let's get down to. I was going to say down to business. Down to here. Well, I suppose it's business, isn't it? Ah, oh, the bodies start coming and they don't stop coming. Let's have a look. We've got three negative and. Three positive. So we are going to extract the blood. And the brains. And we're going to gamble on adding this. We're going to extract the skull. Which adds one red. And we're going to gamble on... Brain. Again. Yes! We ha now have a five... Five star... Five star, um... Body. And... Just how we start, we wrap up with another successful corpse. That is it for, uh... For me today. If you liked the video, please do leave a like down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. We are... Just over 200 now, and it's been absolutely fantastic. I will be doing more of these for as long as I can, as long as the story goes, which I believe we've barely even touched. And there's plenty more to do. We'll also be doing more games, um, maybe not of this length, but we'll have to wait and see. If you'd like to uh, suggest a game down below, please do feel free to do so. Uh, currently, it got my eyes open and ears to the ground for any new games that might be liked to be seen but that's it from me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.